Hey, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. It has been a very long time, yes I do, I do know that. But, I am back, and I'm sorry that it's been a long while since I did one of these last, but I have lots planned now, I know what I need to do. Uh, I had absolutely no idea what I was going to do up to now. And now I just came up with a whole bunch of new ideas. And so today we're going to finish this. So I did some work on this earlier. Um, so I started by making this kind of like curve a little bit. So this went up after every two layers or two blocks. It would go up by half slab and then I made it go up every three. And then over here is going to be like the big dome with control center and everything on this UFO. And I think I remember how I need to do this. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up one more level because we're on a half slab right now and I want it to be on a full block. What did they just do? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I have a, I have a lot of problems with falling here, obviously. It's really, it's really easy to fall. But, ender pearls are amazing. Right, so. What I'm gonna do is, what I think is what the pattern should be. For, to make the, I'm gonna, I want to build a dome and I was like looking at how to do it on the internet and I uh, think I remember how it was done there. So it was, Seven across, so I think we already have the first problem, that's only five. Two, two, one, and then two, two across. I think that's how it went. Not too sure, I'll double check after this clip, but one, two, one, two, yeah, something like that. Let me check now, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, yes, I got it figured out. Uh, I did it slightly wrong, but it's good now. I got it figured out. It's something like this on the base level. Then go across like this, and seven across. So. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do with the interior of this UFO. I'm thinking of just using some, like, I don't know, I'm not quite sure what I want to use. I was thinking of, like, prismarine blocks, but they're quite expensive, and I don't have a guardian farm to farm them. Uh, I could use purple, but I'm kind of sick of it now. I've used it a little too much recently. So I was just thinking maybe normal stone brick, but you know, it's a bit grey. Like, I just want some different stuff in my world right now. But yes, this is all good. We're just gonna fill this in so that we can have, well, a floor to walk on. So I'll just fill this in and be back.
Alright, so now that I'm ready to build the sphere, I'm wondering where whether I want to have this as the very middle of it, because the way I'm doing it is that I'm gonna, like, have a dome from the sphere, and, like, I'm not sure if I wanted to... This, for this to be the very middle of the sphere, or for the next block to be the middle of the sphere. I think I'll have the next block the middle of the sphere. So I'll basically just go around this one more time. Uh, this will, this video will probably mostly consist of uh, time lapses. And if my computer had more RAM, then I would try doing something else, which I'll do once I get more RAM. But, alright, this room feels quite nice. I think this would be a nice con command center. But anyway, let's sleep. And then I'll get on with the time lapse of making the sphere. Alright, well that took a little longer than expected, and there's now lots of mobs around me, because I decided to do this through the night. And now we are gonna kill them all. I had to use switch texture packs back to normal because I couldn't see the glass. So... It just helped, I guess. But that was quite nice. The dome is now complete. We're gonna do something there eventually. Um, gonna try do something there now, I guess. First, let me clean all of this up, though. All right, good. So, uh, actually, let me get rid of those torches because why would uh, an alien spaceship have torches on its outside? They would they would extinguish as soon as they as soon as they are put in space and actually probably before they go because there's so much air rushing past them. But anyway, uh, where's my mob loot chest? There we go. Gonna, no, not there. We're gonna put that there as well as that. Good, and 
yeah, I guess now we just need to do something with that. Um, I'm just trying to see how it looks from somewhere else. Like here. It looks alright, I think. If you, like, don't mind the cloud, then it looks quite alright. The cloud uh, changes its height depending on where you are. So, like, I can be up here and the cloud is a lot higher, which I find really annoying. Yeah, it looks quite right. Uh, how does, like, the curvature look? Yeah, I think that's, that's quite alright. I'm not too happy with the bottom, but I guess we'll keep it the way it is. I can't be bothered to change it now. Anyway, um, I do have a lot of ideas, and uh, so you remember this thing, yeah? So... I, I like put a lot of things in here today. I've got a big redstone project planned. I'm not quite sure what, exactly what I want to do, but I know it's going to be quite big. Um, I think it's going to be the armor stand minecart one, I think I tried doing. Actually, let me rename that. Um, armor minecart. Just so sorry, I remember exactly what it is because... I still I still haven't figured out how to do it, but yeah, I, was, I got that. I also got a Guardian Farm planned, um, parkour park, which is gonna be a little more realistic than in my, than it, what people usually do in Minecraft, where you just jump. A mini house, I the bridge from the ice to the watchtower. So, from the ice farm over there to the watchtower over there. I've been playing that for a long time now and never got around to it, and. Finish the cactus farm and do a wither skeleton farm and a rail track to the theme park. That is about it that has changed. And, uh, like, I'm not quite sure which order I want to do them in, so this is for next episode. I'm gonna. I messed up with the note blocks. But yes. Oh, no. Is. I. Can I just, like, get rid of that? Because I don't want to do it at all. This is what we're doing for next episode. This exact one. We're doing a parkour park in the next episode. Nice. So I'll just put that in my ender chest so I don't forget. Like that. It's going to be there now. So for next episode, I'm going to plan to do a parkour park. I'm going to get the resources I need. The, way I, the reason I'm doing it in this episode, like picking the project, is so that in next episode I have everything ready for it. Otherwise, because I remember when beforehand when I picked it in the episode it took me a long time to get all the resources and uh, I pretty much didn't do the project at all. Yes, that should be quite good now. Um, I don't know if I showed you this but I added two more rows to the pumpkin farm and now this is full two stacks and uh, from the time that I've been there this chest has pretty much filled up completely. Well, every pretty much everything that's in here has been from when I was there for like the last two hours maybe. Uh, I did some work there before the episode began as well. So yeah, that's quite a bit. And uh, what I want to do now is just take that. Uh, give me one more pumpkin, please. There we go. Get rid of one. Yeah, so what I want to do now is go trade with some villagers. Which I don't think we've done on this for a while now. So we will just go trade with the villagers and it should be alright. Uh, I, I got my epic villager guy here with just eight pumpkins for one emerald, of course. Come on, refresh, please. There we go. So from a stack of pumpkins, we can get eight emeralds, which is really nice. You good again? Yeah, you good. Yeah, I think he's liking it. So yeah, got we're probably gonna get like two stacks maybe from this, I don't know. I didn't bother counting how much we'd get. It looks like about two stacks, which is quite nice. I'll be back. 
Alright, so I did some trading here and I, for I forgot how just how greedy these villagers are, so I didn't quite get two stacks from that, but got I think I got my money's worth. I'm gonna take those emeralds and put them here with the rest. Oh, I didn't need to smelt quite so much glass. I had a whole bunch here. That would be nice to know about. But yes. That is that. And yeah, what should we do next? What should we do next? There's still lots to do. Um, actually, I just remembered. I want to finally complete my little garden. So, uh, how about we quickly do that? So, we'll need some nice flowers. Let's take a lilac. Um, let's take... I don't know. Do I have... Any more brick? Yes, I do. Let me just craft up some pots. Okay, good. Well, uh, let's plant two of them. What else do we want? We might want a dark wood. Peony. Yeah, uh, we'll add, we'll be adding more, it's just, uh, all, this is all I have right now, and I think we're gonna want to be, like, smart and plant s most of these in here. So we'll take a jungle there, there, and there. Right? Looks a bit cramped. It's alright, though. Um, these we can put somewhere outside. Where do we want to put this? Right there, and the lilac right there. Nice. So there's just a little bit more now. Looks, looks a little nicer. But we should probably try do some more stuff over there. Um, I need more... Uh, Nether Stars, so in the next episode, well not next episode, uh, I think the one after next, I, I will definitely do the Wither Skeleton Farm, because I really need more Nether Stars for everything. Actually, whilst I remember, sh I should probably get myself a little bit more, I think it's this box. Should get myself some more fireworks. No, it's not this box. I need more fireworks. Which one is it? I have no idea. It doesn't matter. I still have quite a few. Should be enough. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna go get some carpet. Um, I should have some wool here. Actually, no. I do not have wool here. I have wool here. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew we were building this for a reason. Right, so... I was thinking of, like, some... Either kind of grey colours, like cyan. And... Me mixed in with actual grey. It's a bit dark, I think. Although it's better than the other stuff. Um, yeah, I think I'll just go with that. Ah, why not? Right, so... It's all good here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and I want some minecarts as well, so let's go back down. Gonna want to get a few minecarts and trapdoors. Do I have trapdoors? Yes, I do. Nice. And minecarts. We'll just craft a few. Don't need many, I don't think. Let's 
smart. I need a rail to place the minecarts. Doesn't matter what rail. Right, that's good then. So, now let's go up here. I was thinking of using some kind of command blocks for this UFO. So that when we have our beacon down there and have the beam going up, like when we touch the beam, we get teleported up into the UFO. But maybe we'll just fly up because I still don't want to cheat. Holy cow, this this looks pretty grand. I have to I have to admit it's this looks pretty grand. I think that was the point. No blocks, of course. Alright, so this is kind of where, like, the second level's gonna be, and I don't think I'm gonna have more than the second level. It's gonna be a below level, like, where all the engineers would be with all the, like, propulsion systems, I don't know. There's gonna be a below level as well. But, I need to have some sort of like second level before I can continue doing this. Oh, that's going to be perfect because you can just, that is literally perfect. All right, so, hmm, how do we do this? Uh, I was going to make all the floors out of quartz, so I might change this out later. In fact, I will change that out later because I want to have it quartz. But for now, this is as it is because I don't have any quartz. That's just the simple fact. Right, so we want it to be facing that way, I think. Hmm, it's kind of a hard choice because, like, do you want it to be protecting it? Protecting, like, the whole village there, or do you want it to just be here? Or do you want it to be, like, guarding the village? Or just, like, uh, wanting to attack the village? I don't know. But if it's, like, guarding it, then it wants to be on the lookout, so either that way or that way. If it's just here then probably that way or that way. And if it's going to attack them that way. I don't know, I think I'm just gonna have it that way just randomly. So that means that the trapdoor goes here. That was the whole point. And that is not how we place a trapdoor. We place it like that. We want the hinge to be on the top side of it. Right. Then we'll just do something like this. Hmm, thinking. All right, it doesn't matter. And I just remembered because I used a special rail, it did that. It closed the trapdoor. Right, so how do we like not interfere with the minecart. I think we can just place slabs around this. Because we don't want to accidentally push the minecart. Because that would suck. A lot. Alright, let me let me try that. Let me get some of those. Alright, got the minecart down. It's all good. Doesn't move around. Which is great. And we can still go down. But we take some damage, which is not good, but it doesn't matter, I don't think, shouldn't matter. Um, here, I would probably, I don't know, there'd be another minecart here, but I had to make some more slabs here so that I can actually reach this, otherwise I couldn't. Oh, that's a problem. Hmm. That's a big problem. Right. <laughs> um, how do we fix that then? What if we did full, full blocks there? Yeah, that works. 100%.
yeah, then if we just like had something like this, like raised a bit as you get to this, I don't know, it's like something a bit special, I don't know. You probably know what I mean. But it's only here, not, not like for the rest of the floor. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Perfect. Right, and then we would have another minecart here, so let me just do that. Um, I'm really liking this so far. I think it's going to be pretty good. So this is the full block, so we want it like that. Then place everything down. Oops. Don't destroy the minecart. You kind of want to keep it. And then on this level, I don't think we'll have like quite such a, such a descent because we won't have much room here. So it'll just be a little like this. Oh yeah, the trap door's closed. Right. Uh, let me fix that. Nice, I missed that. Okay, open. That's all good. Nice. So, where's that hole? It's right there. And we take a lot of damage if we do that. So, let's not do that. Then we'll want to do something like this as well here. Um, just thinking, do I want to do this? Probably do. Just so that the trapdoor's like not sticking out like a sore thumb, something like that. Yeah, I kind of, I'm kind of liking this. There's still enough room here and stuff. In fact, there's plenty of room all the way up to here. That's as far as it can go. But yeah, that should be good. Uh, let me check how much longer we have on this episode and we'll might call it an end for today. So yes, it does look like we're about out of time. This is actually really difficult to do. It looks like we're out of time, so I guess we'll call this an end for today. Ow. Okay, that happened. I guess we'll call this an end for today. We did quite a bit, I think. Um, def definitely progressed with that. I'll come back to that another day in like a few months, maybe. I know, maybe I'll do some stuff off camera. But in the next episode, we're doing the parkour park. I'll pick out a spot, prepare all the materials, and we'll start right away. I should be able to complete that in one whole episode because I think I kind of know what I'm doing there. Um, yeah, it should be pretty cool. I'm gonna have like bars and stuff. It's gonna, it's gonna be cool. And uh, if you like, it's gonna be like a jump boost potion dispenser. Either that, or there's going to be a beacon with jump boost and speed. And that way, like, you can jump one and a half blocks, and you can actually do some pretty cool stuff. But, yeah, that's going to be all cool, so we'll do that in the next episode. I'm going to need to get more beacons, so we'll do that in two episodes time. And, yes, thank you for watching, and, as always, if you enjoyed the episode, go click that subscribe button. Like button, notification bell, you know all that stuff. Other YouTubers tell you to do it all the time, so you should know exactly what it is. But do it for this channel as well. You know exactly where it is. I know you do. Click it. And until next time. Bye-bye.